Okay, so here, here, here I am sitting here with mom. We're talking about Warren Flock uh, waiting on the on the doctor. Okay, so Warren Flock, you met him in 62, 63? It had to meet after 63, okay. 63. Okay. And all I remember is that he played, I'm pretty sure he played uh, mandolin. Uh, but I never worked with him, but I, that's all I remember. I didn't know he knew Eddie Cochran at all. Yeah, that's how Dad and Eddie met, actually. Yeah, I didn't know that. See, Mom knows things. Not all things, but she does know some things. <laughs> I don't know. Things. I'm out, almost there today. <laughs> Worth knowing. <laughs> okay, okay, and then, uh, okay, so, and then, so, just tell me some of the other people from that era. Okay, when I first met your dad, he was playing uh, with a guitar player named J.B. Russell. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, he's had many new drummers, I can't remember, Jerry McDonald, uh, we're, yeah. we're not counting drummers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dad didn't like drummers very much. Uh, uh, Bob Peterson, Bo Pete. Yeah, yeah Bo Pete. Yeah. Yeah. Um, God, you know, I'm there so many. Of course, obviously, you were on bass, and, and Cleet was playing rhythm and singing, and well, oh yeah, you had other guitar players. He had, and Gino didn't come along until later on. But is there anybody else you can think of from that era? Maybe some old rock stars or something. Uh, no, they weren't yeah. really rock stars at that time. <laughs> no, I don't think any of those guys became big stars. But, uh, I mean, some of them did. Clarence White, Roland White, those guys did. Clarence White. Yeah. I didn't know him. Remember a guy named Black Bart? You ever hear about him? Black Bart. Is this when oh, you? I've heard it. Yeah. Yeah, when you guys were in El Monte. Oh yeah. I the met Clarence Clemens. The I'm not talking about Clarence, but the Kentucky Colonels. You remember the Kentucky oh, Colonels? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Clarence White and Roland oh. White. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's pertinent to this information because Clarence is the one who invented the V-Bend. Him and Gene Parsons. Oh. Well, then I met that, of course, Bud Isaac. Oh, obviously, yeah. And he worked with. I've got a picture of him. Yes. And Johnny Wakeley is the guy, the mm -hmm. little chubby guy that. Is in there? You see? Hmm. Like guitar singing? I didn't know got that. that picture, I think. I got a copy of that, yeah. Yeah, yeah I have a copy of that one. Yeah, that Jimmy Wakeley's kid. Hmm. You know, Jimmy Wakeley was a big country star back in the day. All right, well, that's it for this episode of sitting in the waiting room for mom's doctor to draw blood. And then uh, <laughs> and we'll, we'll get another one as soon as we get a chance. Yeah, okay. I'll take, All right. see if I can think any more. Yeah. <laughs> People are going to think things. Oh, my gosh. Rock on, people. <laughs>